Hey guys, thanks for coming back for more Dragon Age Origins. This is my streamlined playthrough of Dragon Age Origins in that I am only playing through its story and ignoring pretty much everything else. <laughs> last time, uh, let's see, well, God, what happened last time? Last time we had a terrible defeat at the castle. King Kaelin is dead. Uh, Logan is an apparent traitor. And Duncan is probably dead, too. Uh, so, you know, good news, as it were. But uh, my rogue, Diana, and her friend Alistair, and my Mabari Rufus, we are all safe and sound, thanks to, I'm standing very close to, Morrigan. Thanks to Morrigan, <laughs> who apparently saved us from certain doom. So we are to go out now and talk to Alistair. Uh... In the interim, you'll see that I did. I didn't actually know that I would randomly receive armor <laughs> since, you know, I've never really played the game this way before, but I received a slightly better armor set, so I have that equipped. My weapons, however, remain the same old iron daggers that I've been using. So let's go out into the wilds and find Alistair. So I did level her up um, and... I think once I get back into a team, I will go ahead and level up Alistair and my Mabari. I think that's what will happen next. Here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You... you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. I'm not, thanks to Morrigan's mother. This doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother... We'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Who cares what she is? We need to do something now. We need to bring Loghain to judgment. Why would he do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Then we need to find this Archdemon. By ourselves? No Grey Warden has ever defeated a Blight without the army of a half dozen nations at his back. Not to mention... I don't know how. How to kill the Archdemon? Or how to raise an army? It seems to me those are two different questions, hmm? Have the Wardens no allies these days? I... I, I, I don't know. Duncan said that the Grey Wardens of Orlay had been called, and Arl Eamon would never stand for this, surely. Arl Eamon? Uh, the Arl of Redcliffe? I suppose. Arl Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Caelan's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmen. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Well, surely there are other allies we'd call on. Of course. The treaties. Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Well, why not? Isn't that what Grey Wardens do? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Well, as ready as we'll ever be. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> I think that's an excellent idea. Have I no 
some say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Very well, we'll take her with us. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother. <laughs> Indeed. Not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the blight. Even I. I understand. And you, Wardens, do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. I understand. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. I think we should just get underway. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! It is far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... all I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Ah! Fun. <laughs> fun, as it were. All right, so Morgan has joined the party. Now I received a whole bunch of new quests as a result. Now, quickly before I move on, I am going to uh, level up Alistair. I'm going to level him up. And I'm going to level up where'd Rufus go? There we go. Level him up as well. All right. So now everybody's all leveled up. And off we go. So we have to get out of here, which is <laughs> going the wrong way once again. And off we go to the world map. This will be our starting point for most of what we have to do. Gather your party and venture forth. Yes. There we are. So we could go to, I think, any number of these spots, to be perfectly honest. Um, but per Morgan's... <laughs> uh, um, Suggestion, we're going to pick Lothering and head there first. All right. Loading we go. Up in the top right corner is your camp. I'm not sure how often I will visit it. As I just plow ahead. <laughs> and I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. Hmm. Astute. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you. 
the Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Antheathen, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Antheathen, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your Majesty? <laughs> Touché. As I said before, the game is quite political at points. It's fascinating. <laughs> Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I'd guess the pretty one is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers, you know. Uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Morgan. You should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Hanrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got a pay. <laughs> Forget it. I'm not paying. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse then. Those are the rules. Oh, you can certainly try. <laughs> well, this is going nowhere. Let's finish this, gents. Not exactly what you want when you enter a new All right. new city. We surrender. We're, we're, we're just trying to get by before the dogs spawn get us all. Well, you picked the wrong target, buddy. Yes, yes, of course. We should have been more careful. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that line. <laughs> oh, now you die. That's all you deserve. I'm not going down without a fight. <laughs> oh, sorry. The conversation choices in this game can be rather, rather something. Ah. Uh. That one took me off guard, <laughs> needless to say. But you shall not rob from anybody else again. All right. I think that's it. All right. So I'm going to head down this way again, following quest markers in as much as possible. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah. So you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. <laughs> Just get to the point. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. Well, I'll figure it out. Let's just get going. Well, we'll need to decide eventually. Let's head into the village when you're ready. I am ready. <laughs> as far as I know. All right. So let me pull up my map here very quickly. All right. So I haven't, <laughs> haven't found out much. Wide open world, Lothering and the Imperial Highway. So that's where we're headed. If 
you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. It's just it's a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching Darkspawn horde. <laughs> I'm thinking you're right, Alistair. All right. Oh, so many people. So many things that I could be doing, but on we go. Nope. 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 Uh-oh. No, I have to talk to Sten. Maybe? No, I don't. <laughs> Just as I passed up a potential companion in Ostagar, Sten, a Kunari who happens to be back in that cage there, is another potential comrade but once again rules are rules and I'm not supposed to do anything other than follow the main quests so for the moment fighting darkspawn is fine It is interesting because I expect I know what to do. <laughs> You're very welcome. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. I doubt you want to travel with a Grey Warden. Grey Warden? Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune, friend. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Oh, and that's that. Well, now. Off to the Banorn we go, and that's it. That was Lothering. <laughs> was it? <laughs> yes. I feel like there's a dozen things you can do in Lothering. <laughs> I did ex exactly zero of them. Well now, <laughs> tis a mighty bad dream, that. Bad dreams, huh? It seemed so real. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde. We feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. The Archdemon? Is that the dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow... When I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. I'm not frightened. I screamed like a little girl. Duncan said he thought I had someone in my room. <laughs> <laughs> not embarrassing at all. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. There we go. That's it. So... Uh, the, uh, hmm. It's directing me to these fellows. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fett, at your service once again. 
I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a grey wolf? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Uh, you're free to stay. Just mind yourselves. Wonderful. Thank the kind lady, won't you, boy? Thank you, kind lady. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. You should need enchantments. Simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. All right, so that's... Uh, oh, I still have to talk to you, Sandor. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. What enchantments does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. I want some enchanting done. Do I now? <laughs> Enchantment! So, I, it doesn't matter. I have no enchantments, nor any items that uh, have enchanting slots. Maybe something that I do, you know, off camera, so to speak, in the future. But for now, that completes that quest. I probably will, uh, yes. I was questioning whether or not I would return much to camp. Uh, I probably will, certainly, to get rid of items at the very least. This is also where you would talk to your companions and get to know them. But... We're not going to do that. We're just going to leave. <laughs> yes, I would like to gather. And so there's my three. Morgan, yeah. Alistair the warrior, and, whoops, let's go down. Where, how do we get to my war dog, Rufus? And that's it. All right, so from camp, from camp, where do we want to go next? Um, there are a couple options. I can actually go to Denerim. Uh, I could go to the docks, which I believe will take us to the mages. Red Cliff. Um, let's see. I'm thinking, I'm looking at the time. Um, uh, <laughs> and I'm not sure. Let's go to the docks. Oh, and there we hit some bandits along the way, it seems. Or darkspawn. Oh my goodness, what is that? <laughs> oh, I leveled up though. Oh, and there's a dragon there too. Well, I'm trying my best. You know, I may have to <laughs> look up how to dodge because I don't remember how to do that. Well, that was not, uh, <laughs> that was a little unexpected. Let's see, how do we get back out? Sometimes those, uh, those little along the way encounters are bandits or darkspawn. All right, so we'll get to the docks here. You know, I think I'm before continuing, I'm actually going to call this episode and um, pick up with this next time. I'm pretty sure that we'll be heading to the mage, that tower off in the distance. We'll be heading to a main quest that involves the game's mages. And uh, so let's do that next time. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you'll, you'll uh, return for more Dragon 
Age Origins when I return with more Dragon Age Origins. <laughs> See you then, guys. Bye-bye.